All right, let's try to get the X axis up. We got motor at one end. The picture I'm going from. We have a large carriage in the middle. That looks like it's attached just using our smooth tubing. Our two guide rods. This is the other end. This is not part of this axis. This is the other end. We need the motor mount. So there's our motor mount, and that's it for printed parts. We need some screws to attach the motor mount. Big screw for the idler. And I believe that's it, where we don't actually go to attach that right away. Can we get the belt? Oh no, I guess we need that for the belt. Oh, I'll do the belt second. So our smooth rods go in here, just a friction fit, pretty rough. This is four millimeters, so four millimeter drill will rough that out if we need to. So this goes on like so. This tube zip tied in place. We get a knife. So these are your linear bearings. And once the other side's in and the belt is on there being tensioned, it'll solve that problem. These are three millimeter rods, not four millimeter. I'm gonna grab a three millimeter drill bit and get those sorted in. Bought this for four dollars. Some random garage sale. Just a tiny chuck. It makes doing things like simple drill operations a lot nicer. That locked in nicely. There we go. That just feels nice. I realized a little order of operations error. You really want to get that on when you can actually access the set screws that's going to hold on there. So that is held on there, just like so. Clips into the frame. And on the other side, it attaches the same way. I preemptively drill these out a smidge. Idlers are five millimeter bore, which is not ideal. You really want a three millimeter bore idler, so hopefully we'll fix that in the case. Yes, I've been 3D printing too long. So that lines up there. And that is actually going to slot right in here. There's a nice x-axis. So next we have attaching the x, the y gantry carriage. And that's supposed to be clamping on these guys with zip ties. And the belt is held in place through here somehow. And that's backwards. There you go. With those guys, the rod's voicing out. Let's clean these up. These were good. nice clean holes already, but still. Been doing too much pounding. So that goes there. And then we have the tensioner block on top. Might as well get the idler on because we know how that goes. And these idlers have a uh, ball bearings in each side. I figure attaching it will be the last step. Once we zip tie it on there, it'll be a lot harder to work with. But I'm not really sure how the belt tensioner works. So I really gotta do the belt before we put the motor on. So you grab the tip of the belt and get a pretty wicked twist going on it. So what we're trying to do is go up on one side of the belt. Come right down on the other. So if we do that, we should be able to slide the belt in and then use the zip tie to lock it in place. Extremely tight in there. So hopefully we can see what's going on in there. So that belt is locked in place there. It looks like the other side of the belt we're going to do a cute little loop thing and take a zip tie again with the same rounding technique. Go around a little curve in there and then the zip tie itself will be our tensioner. So this zip tie is the belt tensioner and the way that works, put the belt to a reasonable length. Ugh. Should we put the belt on correctly first?
Okay, so that looks good. I take this felt and make it into a loop with another zip tie, and we pull on that loop to tension it. So when this is done, we want that loop over there. So the nice part about that, really nice, is that if you look at it, the belt is going to be nice and straight. Tensioner's out of the way. You can make this loop as small as it can be. Turn that on. Lose him. And now we can actually cut this belt to two length two. Maybe a little easier to see how that's working. We do that. We got decent belt tension, and then all we gotta do is get these on, and that is the axis sorted. Not exactly difficult to do, it's just all these parts are small, my pans are big. What is, uh, Surprisingly solid. I think I need a little more tension on this belt. And that snaps right back in when we're ready. So I think I'm going to keep it off for the rest of the build. I'll leave it there for the day. That is X your axis. So we have a Z, an X, next, got the Y, then the hot end, electronics, and it's a printer. Alright guys, happy printing.